along with Wayne Wilson to return Rovetto's kickoff. And we are underway on a dazzling day for football in Chicago. From the end zone, it will be Rich Motti, and he elects not to bring it out. A good kickoff by Rovetto. So New Orleans will start from their own 20-yard line. Guard, the other inactive. James Scott has a full hamstring, will not be in the offense. Wayne Wilson, great tackle, but look at him go. Wilson all the way down inside the 40-yard line of the Bears. First down for the Saints at the 35-yard line. Opening drive, Wilson. Good defensive coverage that time. Mike Singletary, the linebacker number 50, ranging along the line of scrimmage. One set back again with Brenner on the wing. Short drop for Stabler. Deep side line, and it's caught and is complete. Number 83, Kenny Duckett. Backup lineman and George Rogers, of course, with the injury, and Jim Wilkes, their starting defensive end. Oh, it's open. Stabler, touchdown, Larry Hardy. Number 87, the tight end was wide open in the end zone. And New Orleans with an impressive opening drive, despite setback by being set back by a penalty. They deliver. Noah Jackson and Jeff Williams, another newcomer, just a couple of weeks ago with Dan Hill at center. Out to the left comes Walter Payton out of the shotgun. Avellini on third down. He's got a man open, but the pass intended for Marjoram is incomplete. Bump says, come on over here. When Dave Wilson went down, need somebody to help out Archie Manning. And he's got the job. And the Bears defensively, Mike Singletary hitting Wayne Wilson at about the time the ball arrived. Bay Packer and Jeff Wilson wide left number 86. They give it to Wilson up the middle and again he breaks tackles and Wilson has the first down yard. Uh, Bum Phillips says there's just no way that he can get here and get ready. Uh oh, he's old pass to Wilson. He's got running room and he's close to another first down. The punt from Russell Hurtsleben. Oh, it's a fake. They give it to Wilson and did he make it? It'll be very, very close. The Bears responded very well defensively. And it does not look like Wilson got the yard. Wilson got on TV. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first down as the Bears take over. On down, stopping Wayne Wilson with an alert defensive play. And they are at their own 49. They give us to Walter Payton. Payton's got running room wide. And Payton runs right through the tackling try by Dave Weimer. Inevitable, wasn't it? Reggie Lewis has come in to join the... Saints down lineman number 98. Five defensive backs are in. Avellini has time. Deep sideline, and it is broken up by Dave Weimer. And this is a 53-yard try for Rivetto. He has the wind behind him. If they indeed go for it, it's going to be short. Well short, and good field position is gained him and the people in the stands gave him a great welcome. That was a very moving moment while we were away in commercial. They introduced him here. And you are looking now at number 42, Toussaint Tyler carrying for the first time. Plays on it. This week it's shortened. <laughs> Fisher, Frazier, and Bell are the defensive backs who come in. The Saints, meanwhile, have three wide receivers in. Grote, Duckett, and Thompson. And they go with a draw play. And the Bears read it well. Dan Hampton, number 99, was waiting for Wilson. Right at the line of scrimmage, there is no gain, and New Orleans will have to punt. From Alan Page, he's going to be a great one. We'll return with the Saints in front, 7 to nothing. On second and seven, Moorhead and Earl. Play action, rolling as Avellini. Up the middle, complete to Earl. First down yardage to the 33-yard line. Game, quick drop by Avellini. And he's got a man open, that is Moorhead, the tight end. Dropping back off and finding space in the slot. Harper is the lone setback for Chicago. Oh, bring Henry Moorhead on an end around. And the Saints were waiting for him just after he got the ball. That are now in the pro set on second and seven for the Bears. Avellini has some time. He has a man open margin. And it is incomplete. He could not stay inbounds. Well, actually, they've got Peyton set on the wing. Now they're making a slot with him in motion. Avellini, and it is intended for Peyton coming back over the middle, but the pass a little high incomplete. And that'll be fourth down. And the fans booing a little more lustily now as Avellini and the offensive team comes to the sideline. And Brenner are in there now together with one setback. Wayne Wilson is having a fine afternoon. Here comes the blitz. Stabler has time. 
has a reception by Jeff Wolf and a first down Woo. the 35 yard line very long 25 to go for Stabler complete Andre Thompson breaking tackles and a good run by Thompson now third and seven Saints trying to keep possession here and again they set up the two wings providing that pocket for Stabler and it Intended for Thompson, Jeff Fisher, number 24, the second-year man from USC. Well, there is Vince Evans, the six-year man from USC. Had the starting job last year, couldn't hold it. Now getting his opportunity to prove to Ditka that he should be the starter. Down the rush real well, no matter who's in there. Third down. Passing down for the Bears, I would think, but no, they run it. Suey, good play and a good gain and a first down. Peyton on the wing, and soon they the come. And the rush on Evans, and a diving tackle by Russell Gary. And the Saints starting from their own six-yard line. They continue to lead 7-0. The only score came off the first offensive series. Toussaint Tyler is hit behind the line by Dan Hampton. Hampton continues to be an awesome defensive force on that Bears front four. Seven to zip. Evans did a good job on that play. And of Marjoram, and it is almost intercepted. Was it yes. picked off? It was on the deflection by Nairn. Rob Nairn. Third and long, six defensive backs in. There's one the ball before halftime. Wilson pulled down after a gain of about seven. The Bears trying to make something happen. Evans, the quarterback. Dewey and Peyton in the pro set. Dash Nagel and Marjorie in the wide receivers. Evans running out of time. Upfield intended for Moorhead and intercepted by Gary. Russell Gary, and he gets up. And he is going to get away from Marjoram. And they'll stop him at the 45-yard line. Well, that brings the half to a close. And uh, Boo send the Bears to the locker room. And it is going to be Jim McMahon. Number nine. The number one draft choice from Brigham Young University, and that gets a big roar of appreciative applause from the fans here at Soldier Field. Six feet, 187 pounds, a 23-year-old rookie, and certainly the hope of the future at quarterback for the Chicago Bears. Well, he obviously has all the right instincts when you set 55 NCAA records, and some of the things that he did during the exhibition season, you can tell that he has the instincts. It's just a matter of gaining the experience. Short drop and a completion to Bashnagel, and Bashnagel batters through a pair of tacklers for a first down. Third down and three. McMahon is dropped by Whitney Paul. Blitzing from the left side, the extra linebacker the Saints send in for the, just that duty. That blitz and hit the opening man quickly. He got Vincent and Henderson way back, expecting pass and getting it. And the hit on Thompson by Reuben Henderson, but he may have the first down yardage. It's a little short. Out of foot. When you have a young quarterback, a lot of teams will come off that 3-4 and bring those linebackers right up the middle many times. they got Rob Nairn lined up right on the line of scrimmage. Here they come. And <laughs> it's complete to Rob and Earl. So, presence of mind by McMahon. And picking out Rob and Earl for a first down. Ball in at linebacker for Ricky Jackson on first down. Paul with a rush on again. And McMahon with protection hits Moorhead. And Moorhead is close to another first down. Ricky Jackson the past few plays either. Whitney Paul's been in there quite a bit on these passing situations. Nickel defense in for the Saints with Curley out of the shotgun. McMahon up the middle of Peyton. He's wide open. Peyton first down to the 38-yard line of New Orleans. Johnny Cole. First down. Four out of five for 63 yards, McMahon. He's got time again, and it is intercepted. Dennis Winston, perfectly timed interception. The ball intended for Ken Marjoram. Bachnagel was also there, but Winston seemed to... And three. They have six pass defenders in, the Bears do, and Stabler, a quick one, and he's got the yardage. A nice play to Jeff Groth. New Orleans leads it 7 to nothing on a Stabler. Touchdown pass to Larry Hart. The opening series of the game. Stabler trying to get deep. He's got a one-on-one -on -one over here, and it's complete. Thompson, Andre 
Tommy Thompson got one on one. Two wide receivers. Blitz. Zach Wilson. Here comes the blitz, and Stabler gets it off complete. Andre Thompson to the 10-yard line. He shorted the first down. Stabler was really wrapped on the play. A flag is down as well. Holding number 62. Offense still third down. And there are his numbers from a long career. And Fritch has hit the drill from 40 yards away. First and 15 for the Bears, and the pressure on McMahon, the screen to Peyton. Peyton gets away from one tackler, turning it upfield with some balance, and gets back over the original line of scrimmage, knocked out of bounds at the 22. Wide throw set for the Bears, and McMahon in the pocket runs out of time. He is dropped by Ricky Jackson and Bruce Clark. So the problems of a week ago in trying to defend the gun sounds ending the third period here at Soldier Field with the Saints apparently in control. At the end of the third quarter with the score, the New Orleans Saints 10, the Chicago Bears nothing. Double tight ends, wide receiver set on the wing and they give it to Jimmy Rogers. Cutting it back to the middle and running well. Stopped short of the first down all day so he can certainly be excused on that one. Third and three, and here is Rogers, a diving tackle by the linebacker, Bruce Heron. So they're going to go for it on fourth down. Three wide receivers are in. Stabler rolling out left, looking for an open uh -oh. man, and he, oh, broke, could not hold on. Now, maybe that Leslie Frazier got a hand on the ball, because that pass was right there. So credit Leslie Frazier with a good defensive play. And the quarterback in the I formation. We have Peyton and Suey. Who had the tight end set on the wing goes in motion. McMahon. The man open and it is incomplete for Emory Moorhead. And on second down, stumbled setting up. Now for Marjoram and it's broken up. You get to see action. Check on the specials and they like him too. He was their third choice this year. So they're building. McMahon has lots of time, and to Bashnagel, and what a hit by Poe on Bashnagel. Bashnagel, the ball was there. He certainly would have made the catch, but Johnny Poe absolutely blistered him. Third down and four. And Warren's in motion back to the ball. Blitz. And Stabler quickly after Wilson, who could not hold on. Second and four. Good move by McMahon away from the rush on Reggie Lewis. Got the pass complete, but it'll be short of the first down. A flag on the play. Five yard face mask foul, number 52, defense, first off. There, that's a pretty good call. All right, McMahon complete to Marjoram, and he dropped the ball. It's incomplete. Scott on injured reserve, and Edo Merkins, he has confidence in as a backup quarterback. Wilson trying to get wide left, and when he gets ahead of steam on, uh, he gets me. Wilson again. Nice running by Wilson. Has a first down, and he's inside the midfield stripe to the Bears. Young Jim McMahon, who followed the starter Bob Avellini, the reliever Vince Evans, finishing up for the Bears today and getting his first taste of regular season NFL action. Peyton and Suey in the pro set with the uh, shotgun formation. And the pass to Suey out of the backfield has first down. And a couple of more. Pick up of 13. To the th Peyton alone running back. There it is. McMahon eluding the rushers. Hits Ricky Watts in the middle. And he is dropped right at midfield by Russell Gary. 36 seconds. Man. And that is complete to Brian Bashnagel. Well, there it goes. That's it. It is all over. And the Bears are left rather forlornly at the 35-yard line of the Saints with time running out. And the New Orleans Saints.